On this episode of Kramer Today, we'll be speaking with the man who puts the A in Pro AV, Mr. Yuval Kramer, the director of audio at Kramer AV. I'm Jeremy Ladner, and this is Kramer Today. Wow, thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me, Jeremy. How are you? Very good. Thank you very much. All right, so we have a very special announcement today. But before we get into that very special announcement, we've been talking about the AFM20 DSP for some time. For those who don't know about it, can you give us kind of a brief overview of the audio matrix, what it does, what makes it so awesome, and why it's won so many awards so far? <laughs> well, as a whole, the whole story of the AFM, um, DSP, AFM stands for Audio Flexible Matrixes. The idea came to do, um, because we, we are a late comer to the industry with the DSPs, everybody has DSPs for about 20 years, roughly, a little bit more than that even. So as a late comer, there are downsides while you're coming late to the market. And, and the upside is that you can look at what's given and you can redesign and redissect and, and think about things a little bit differently. And we came up with the idea of, of eliminating the, the way people look at ports. You know, you have usually inputs and outputs in, in a DSP. One of the most common sizes is 12 inputs and eight outputs. And we decided to take this out of the question, give people that look at the DSP the experience of an Ethernet switch. You have ports and you decide what you want to do with them. No one tells you these are inputs for cameras and these are outputs for your recording devices. Right. You have 20 ports and that's the idea. And that's what led the whole idea of, of this product. So the AFM20 says in its right in the name is a flexible metrics with 20 ports you can assign ios inputs and outputs that was the main this is what took us out to the field and, and into the r d and just try to come up with great ideas and as an av company well as a pro av in the pro av world the v is way larger than the a so we are a video company basically and we added some video features so hdmi embedders and the embedders into the box uh, built-in amplifiers, Dante inside of it. The idea was, again, to look at DSPs in the market now and to look at it from the perspective of the integrator in the room, the guy that designs the systems, the consultant and the integrators, that what they face on a day-to-day -day basis. And we right. try to make their lives better because uh, they are our, our partners in the whole scope of the world partner. Um, for it, so we added all these features into the box to avoid... Um, cabling issues, if you have a D embedder, you have a, a presentation system in the room and it has a video signal on it and the video contains audio, you always take a, a small D embedder, you D embed the audio from the HDMI and you put it into the DSP if you need to process it or to mix it. So it's another box, it's another cable that can be disconnected. We wanted to get rid of that. Um, so we added the HDMI embedders and D embedders into the box. The same with the Dante, the same with the built-in amplifier. We looked at all these challenges that, that people in the industry have, and we wanted to improve on them and to give some extra added value. So that's the story behind the AFM20 DSP, and that's what got us out into the field. And this is why it draws so much attention, and we basically couldn't be happier with what we got so far with it. Yeah, I mean, just from sort of an, an IT-friendly perspective, the idea of having all of these different devices in one place has got to save a ton of time when it comes to firmware updates and that sort of thing. Exactly, exactly, Juan. Okay. You have, instead of six boxes with different firmware version and seeing what the manufacturer has, you have one firmware version right there. You can test it in your own office to make sure it's working as you want and then deploy it to the system and, and just saving the small little details, exactly that. Right. Okay. So I think we've been teasing it long enough. There's a big, big reveal, a big, big bit of, uh, of news we want to share with everybody. Uh, can you tell us what it is? Correct. We, we, we are talking now because, because we are introducing the whole family, basically. The AFM 20 DSP was such a great success for us, and we decided to make, to expand it to a family of products. We call it the Kramer Experience, um, that shows a full range of features of products, no longer looking at a single product. We wanted to have flavors above it, the flagships and smaller flavors to have less IOs and, and just to go into the DSP market like it should be done, to have 
the whole scope filled covering end to end. That's the main story behind that. And we are introducing them right now, basically. All right. So tell us a little bit about the different products. In addition to the AFM 20 DSP, what separates them? What would uh, make one distinct from another? Maybe the applications that would apply to each. Right. So so let's go from from uh, the biggest to the smallest. So the, the flagship of the family is the AFM 20 DSP AEC. It's the AEC version. AEC is acoustic echo cancellation. Obviously, when you mention DSPs, one of the first question is, is does it have an AEC? And if you don't know what AEC stands for, AEC, acoustic echo cancellation, means it's designed for VC, for conferencing, video conferencing, and, and uh, UC, any kind of unified conf- uh, conferencing, allowing people to talk over very much like what we do right now over uh, um, the line without hearing this small annoying echo that we used to have everywhere basically this is the echo that the AEC cancels out so this unit the AEC flagship will have eight channels of AEC um, this is one of the main feature of that this is the flavor in addition we added USB audio bidirectional USB audio as well so it can also take the HDMI and mix it with signals from the USB and and send it over back to the USB if required or to the Dante basically adding all the features so that's the flagship the same idea as the AFM 20 DSP the flexibility of the ports gonna stay with us throughout the family but uh, we added the AC and the USB on top of it mainly targeted as as mentioned into conferencing scenarios okay like larger boardrooms everywhere that you'll have this conference setup this is where it's dedicated to right. to go so that's the flagship that's the number one the biggest one we're gonna have there's the, the big daddy one, yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah, so all right so what tell, so we, we know about the big daddy now we know about the mama which is the afm 20 dsp what uh, what's next on the list <laughs> I don't know. He's, I, he's not a little kid, though, but I say let's call him an uncle. <laughs> um, um, it will be the AFM 20 LE, the, LFM, the 20 DSP LE version. LE stands for Light Edition. Um, it's, we just wanted to simplify the box. So we have 20 ports, as the name suggests, but that's it. It's a Light Edition. So we have 20 analog ports. We removed the Dante and the HDMI and the built in power amplifier to do two things. Not everybody needs this whole uh, list of features. So we removed a bunch of them, left basically a bare bones, super advanced DSP without the additions of HDMI and the Dante and the built-in amplifier and the SPD connectivity, allowing you to have a strong box. The flexibility of the port is still there. Um, just obviously on the cheap, cheaper side and, and trying to grab a bigger portion of the field when not everybody needs all the features. So we get that as this LE version. Perfect. It's and the, that, that, yeah. that, uh, that ability for customers to be able to have the, 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 the flexibility to choose what they need and, and not have to pay for what they don't makes perfect sense. That's the idea. Exactly the idea. Okay. So we've got one more. Yeah. Okay. That's the smallest one. He is, as you, by the name suggests, it's a DSP. It's called DSP 62 AEC. So it's not an AFM. It does not have the flexible ports. It's just a smaller unit. This was designed with one thing in mind and one thing only, huddle spaces. That's the main idea. We wanted to go to the huddle space world and give it what it requires when we talk about DSPs for small space like that. So the 62 says we have six analog inputs on the device and uh, two outputs. But in addition, you can connect to it uh, four microphones, up to four microphones if required, and two HDMI inputs, one HDMI output on the box as well. So we took, again, the, the, the strength of Kramer, allowing you to have HDMI connectivity and audio, analog audio, and on top of it, a bi-directional USB. So the main idea, this unit is going to sit in, in a huddle space and have... Everything in that in the box was looked at very carefully. We created because it's a huddle space, it has to sit in a very tight, small space, usually under the display. So we made it in a new form factor for Kramer. Uh, it's called a demi tool, which is like if anybody knows our mega tool form factor, which is smaller than half a 19-inch rack and significantly almost half the height. We did that in half the depth as well. So it will sit right under the display and it will be nice and sitting very flash close to the display depth. This is one thing. Right. In addition, so it's, it's you want the, to... Sorry to interrupt. It's the perfect size for huddle space. I mean, that's, uh, that's great. 
one of the mo- most important things in hard space is, is the table real estate. We understand that it's a small table, two people come, three people come with their d- laptops. The real estate of the table is very, very precious in hard spaces. So we wanted to minimize the box as much as we can to allow you to install it either on the wall, under the TV, or inside a T-bus, inside a table bus that you can mount it. So we created the device with two sides to it. The front panel is for the guest and temporary connectivity meaning a three and a half millimeter jack for your phone or for your computer to play something small, a HDMI connectivity for the, for the guest and the USB for your laptop. This is the front part of the device with obviously two buttons of selection of the HDMI ports, either your guest or from the rear panel of the device, the permanent installation. So the back side is supposed to handle what's installed in the room anyway. If you have a Deep31 device from Kramer or a Via Box, the HDMI output from, from that can go into the HDMI input on the rear panel of the DSP 62 AEC. Wow. And the microphone is going to be connected on the back side. And obviously, the HDMI output is going to go from that part to the display. So, wow. looking at every side of the box and trying to give everything that the customer will require in a hollow space. Wow, I mean, I know how much time you guys put into to designing this, the time and care where you're, you're investigating what uh, the customers need and want and the feedback you get, and then dumping that back into making sure you put out the, the, the type of product that you've considered every possible use case scenario, and, and it definitely shows. What exactly. can you tell us as far as a, a roadmap for rolling these out? Obviously, we don't have firm dates yet, but sort of a, a rough idea. What are we looking at? Right, right. Um- just before the first half of your sentence is very important to me because you you just mentioned the most important thing for me when I look about products. In the last, I think, eight months, I, I have visited about 10 different countries, met almost a thousand different people from end user to consultants to, to integrators, been visited on locations everywhere because we want to make sure that our products really, really are be based not on our technology, but on healing a need, a pain. This is this is what we're trying to do. So like you just mentioned, it's a small tweak. For instance, this USB connectivity on the a, on the DSP62 had to be um, to be class compliant USB, meaning driverless. You connect the USB port to your computer and it automatically works. You don't need to install anything because I know that the IT manager of a large conference building that has 300 huddle spaces, if he needs to have a small sticker underneath the display saying that when you connect the USB to the computer, please install that and that driver, that's a hassle that I don't want to give him. So we want to make sure he's that friendly and that easygoing and to to put the cherry on top of the entire family, we added the Maestro features to every single one of the boxes. Wow. If anyone does not know what the Maestro means, Maestro is our is a automatic control. control. Room we added automation, that. For, sorry, for those who don't understand, this is room automation and it saves a ton of trouble as far as the IT folks are, are, are concerned. The, the fact that you don't have, uh, say, let's say some folks who might not be so familiar with how to use the equipment in the room, the less they have to touch the equipment, the longer it's going to last and the less time that IT has to spend on unnecessary service calls. Maestro saves a ton of time and money. It's, that's a, that's right. a big addition to, these, to the family products yeah. for sure. Exactly. So this is what one wants to say about that. Um, and in the end, you just mentioned about uh, where we're going to get your hands on the boxes. So the two of them, the main flavors, the, the AFM 20 DSP is already shipping. The AFM 20 DSP LE is basically introduced right now in this conversation. Great. And in about four to six months from now, we're going to have the, the rest, the whole family out, out there in the field, letting people play with them, understand them, hear them, get their heads around them, get their hands on them. That's the main story. Yeah. That is uh, some pretty exciting stuff and uh, looking forward to everything that 2020 will bring from the Kramer Audio Department and Kramer AV at, uh, at large. Thank you so much for being on the show. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And thank you for watching. I'm Jeremy Ladner, and this has been Kramer Today.